We're in the Healthy Diabetic Test Kitchen preparing a clean and healthy green bean casserole from one of my favorite websites, Detoxinista.com. And these are the ingredients to prepare this dish. We have one yellow onion that's sliced thin, a tablespoon of coconut oil, two cups of parsnips, 10 ounces of mushrooms, um, and I'm using the cremini or baby bellas, three cloves of garlic, a quarter cup of nutritional yeast, and a cup and a half of water, one and a half teaspoons of fine sea salt, and of course, a pound of fresh green beans. All right, our first ingredient, we are gonna put in the coconut oil. This is a healthy alternative. Some vegans, vegetarians believe to butter. Um, but if you wanna choose butter, use butter, go right ahead. Melt this up on medium heat in a large skillet. And once the coconut oil is melted down, it's ready for the onions. So onions are really such a healthy food for people with diabetes. Oh, it doesn't sound, sound great. All right, so in a regular green bean casserole, one of the things that makes it so fattening is those yummy, crunchy fried onions on the top but they're so bad for you. So now what we're doing is we're trying to recreate that with caramelized onions, which are much healthier. Onions are a terrific, terrific thing to eat for people with diabetes. Some believe that they have antibiotic effects. This recipe says it takes 45 minutes for these to caramelize. We'll see. Next in line, parsnips. And these are gonna be steamed. I'm able to use a steamer here. And this is what two cups of parsnips look like. Okay, the water is boiling, so now the recipe is calling for me to put the top on, turn it down to low, and let this cook for eight minutes. All right, so it took a little bit more than eight minutes, but now my parsnips are at the right consistency. I can stab them with a fork, they're real tender. And the recipe is calling for me to put these in a blender. All right, the next ingredient, green beans. They're going in the same steamer that we just used for the parsnips. Just gonna pour them in. All right, so lids on. This steams for six to eight minutes or until your desired crunchiness of green bean. All right, now that the beans are steaming, we're gonna turn our attention back to the caramelized onions. All right, the onions are caramelized. We're gonna put these guys to the side because we'll be cooking the mushrooms in this pan. Those guys are caramelized. Next, the mushrooms. And I heard a tip that you never wash mushrooms because it makes them slimy. So you just rub them clean before you slice them. All right, eight minutes has passed. The green beans are ready. So I'm gonna switch out the lid for the serving dish and the baking dish. And here we go. Green beans are put in the baking serving dish. Time to cook the mushrooms. And we're gonna do it in the pan that we caramelize the onions in. So let's take coconut oil. We'll melt it down. Saute some garlic. Take about three minutes. Make sure it doesn't turn brown, gets bitter. Once the garlic is finished, we're gonna put in the mushrooms. And this is gonna cook for about six minutes or until the liquid is released. Time now to preheat the oven. This is gonna bake on 350 degrees. All right, mushrooms are done. Now, half this mixture 
goes on top of the green beans. Well, let's turn it off first. That'd be a good thing. <laughs> and the other half is going to go into the Vitamix on top of the parsnips. Now, into the Vitamix to make the sauce. By the way, if you don't know what a parsnip is, full of fiber, full of potassium, full of vitamin C, and it's a great alternative to potatoes for people with diabetes. We're almost there. Now we're making the cream sauce. We're gonna add the one and a half cups of water to the Vitamix, the nutritional yeast, and salt. Now we're gonna blend these ingredients until they are creamy. All right, the sauce is done, looks terrific. Now we just pour it over the mushrooms and the green beans. Now the recipe calls for you to give this a really good stir. Give the mushrooms and the green beans a nice coating. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. This cream, of course, is healthy. It's a low carb version of what normally is cream of mushroom soup, which is not low carb and not healthy. The final step is caramelized onions all over the top. The ingredients are in the baking dish. Now it's time to put our healthy, clean variety of green bean casserole in the oven for 30 minutes and bake. All right, time's up. Green bean casserole is ready. I put a little aluminum over the top because the onions were looking a little dark. I didn't want them to burn. Oh. That looks amazing. Now it's time to dig in. I've missed green bean casserole for so long because as a person with diabetes, I have a really hard time eating it, taking the amount of insulin needed to cover it. So let's see if this is a suitable replacement. Here we go. Gotta get some onion. Mmm. That is delicious has the creaminess of a green bean casserole, the crunchiness of the onion, um, it's delicious. Definitely a great replacement. 